Ganymede. Look at this amazing Ganymede stuff. Uh, wait, 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 I want to give to people who As a child, a it was my so immense good fortune to have parents and a few teachers who encouraged my curiosity. This was my sixth grade classroom. I came back Jupiter. here one afternoon to remember what it was like. I brought some of the breathtaking pictures of other worlds that had been radioed back by the Voyager spacecraft in their encounters with Jupiter and its moons. Okay, this is Callisto, which is... <laughs> What is a Callisto? I want a Callisto. Now you got it. What is it? It's, it's the outermost big moon of Jupiter. Um, who is this guy? Europa. Another Europa. A black and white picture of a ring of Jupiter. There you go. That's a prize for honesty. You didn't get a second. You're right. Which one would you like? OK. No. Every one of us begins life with an open mind, a driving curiosity, a sense of wonder. I thought it might be fun if we now had some questions. Why is the Earth round? Why isn't it square or any other shape? That's a good question. I like that question. It's a question I have asked myself. And the answer has to do with gravity. The Earth has a strong gravity. If you were to make a mountain very high, higher than Everest, you know, it's the biggest mountain on the Earth, it would be crushed by its own weight. You see, gravity pulls everything towards the center. So any really big bump on the Earth is crushed. But if you had a small object, a tiny world, the gravity is very low, and then it can be very different from a sphere. I think I have here a world that isn't a sphere. Here, look at this one. See, it's lumpy. <laughs> it's a lumpy world. It looks like a potato, right? <laughs> There's a large potato orbiting the planet Mars. This is one of the moons of Mars. And uh, that's a perfect example of it. You can, you can have big departures from a sphere if your gravity is low. Now, a question in the front. Okay. Is the sun considered part of the Milky Way galaxy? Sure. You're considered part of the Milky Way galaxy. Everything except other galaxies is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The sun is one star. There is a few hundred billion stars in the Milky Way. And around each star, maybe, it's a whole bunch of planets. And uh, on one of those planets is life. And one of the life forms on that planet is you. So you're a part of the Milky Way galaxy, too.